Time for post-practice seat presented by TS Tech. I'm Russ Eisenstein, joined by one of Ohio's quarterbacks, Armani Rogers. Armani, I want to ask you about the emotions when you heard that the Miami game was postponed. Uh, definitely was hurt a little, uh, especially with it being a, a rival game and not get to experience the, the feeling of playing a, a rival game at Ohio. And then when they told us that the game was canceled, it was just kind of heartbreaking that I didn't get to experience. Now I definitely can't experience the full Ohio effect. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Obviously, you played in some great rivalry games in the battle for the Fremont Cannon when you were at UNLV and you wanted to paint that baby all red and silver when you were a uh, rebel. Now, the, the time in between, the 18 days in between, what is what has this been like knowing that you started and then you had that stop and you'll start up again? It's kind of like the same situation when they first told us that we were going to have a season, then they then they canceled it, and then now you're like, all right, you got to just keep staying prepared, and they bring in the season, like, we're about to have a game versus Bowling Green and next week, so they stay focused, stay the course, and uh, kept preparing like we had a game that week. How have you and Curtis Rourke handled this situation? It's tough, and it can be tough for guys that aren't necessarily mentally solid, and you two most certainly are in approaching different roles in the same position. What's that been like for you two? Uh, just, just staying the course uh, when, whenever they call. Whenever they call one of our, our numbers, we're ready at all times. If it can be starting, uh, coming in the middle of the game, just, just, just being ready at all times. I, I wonder about that, that completion that got the ball inside the one on the long pass against Akron. It was reviewed, it was in bounds, and it was a heck of a, a catch. I, it was Isaiah Cox, I believe, who, who made the reception on the near side sideline. Um, did that pass, even though it was one, did that say to you, all right, you know, I, I, I could throw the ball here, I'm all right? Most definitely. Uh, just, get my, just get my feet wet and just keep getting needed more opportunities to throw the ball and showcase that I can actually throw. I wonder about your family, too. You come from a great family. You've got a bunch of siblings. Your dad played uh, at Colorado uh, from the Detroit area um, and played in the NFL. So I wonder about your scrambling ability in your family, because I, I would bet that your scrambling ability and your, your ability to evade folks comes from <laughs> the fact that you probably ran around with your with your siblings as a kid. Most definitely. Uh, when my brother is in high school, I was able to practice with them. Like, uh, just run around with them, just look up to my older brothers, look up to my dad, and just had people I looked up to that was close enough to, to be around and always push me. My brothers push me every day when I go back home. They make sure I'm working out 24-7. Um, and just little things like that. I have a great support system. So I'm always, I'm able to just keep getting pushed by my family. It, it's important to control what we can control in life uh, via uh, COVID or, or in, in the classroom or in football or whatever it is that we do. You guys know that it's all up to you. If you win out, you're in Detroit and that's got to feel pretty good. Most definitely, um, especially coming from UNLV and not having the experience to, to uh, go to a bowl game and now have an opportunity to compete for the, uh, for the MAC championship is, a, is a, an excitement. Yeah, and, and uh, one touchdown on the ground this year, you got a couple of more in you, don't you? Most definitely. Whenever they call my name, I'm going to be ready. Armani, thanks for the visit. Really appreciate it. Good luck against Bowling Green. All right, thank you.